the morning should be remaining quiet. After we go past the lunch hour, it looks like we're going to be seeing the better chances for scattered to widespread showers and storms here across the region. During the evening hours, this is going to be the best chance for possibly some strong to severe storms. So let's go ahead and put together here with your latest future tracker. Going through the rest of the afternoon, we could be seeing some heavier downpours later on to the day as we go. Winds will be picking up out of the south, possibly about 15 miles per hour as well. Notice more of these dots, and now we're starting to see some purples being indicated within some of these cells. So that means heavy downpours, indications of storms. We even could have some storms being embedded within the bigger batches of some of those showers. This threat is going to continue up until about sunset. And then we go after sunset. I think for the most part, we should begin to calm down as we head into the overnight hours. However, we still could have some leftover rain that could greet us possibly by tomorrow morning, but we're going to have mostly cloudy skies guys to begin off your work week. So not too much of an issue with your morning commute, but by the afternoon and evening, we're not going to have washout chances or widespread activity. We'll have the chance, though, that some of us could see some heavy downpours, maybe an isolated thunderstorm here and there for your Monday forecast. Same thing heading on into Tuesday. So we're going to start off with a mix of sun and clouds to begin off the second day of the work week. Breezy conditions for both Monday and Tuesday as well. Then the chance for afternoon showers and storms. Gusty winds, lightning, localized flooding. Those are really the primary concerns because we have periods of heavy downpours and those rain showers could last on a little bit longer in certain locations. However, it's just a medium risk. Luckily, we've been dry the last couple of days. Could have periods of lightning. Remember that if you do hear thunder, you are close enough to get struck by lightning, so you want to be inside immediately if you do hear any kind of thunder. Gusty winds could be a possibility if we have some of those storms be a little bit stronger, and also the chance of a spin up is not zero, but it is low. I don't think we're going to be seeing it, but I never want to say never because it could possibly happen given the atmosphere we're heading into later on this afternoon. Rain chances will be around pretty much each and every day for the work week, but not everyone is expected to see rain. If any day we might be rain free, probably on Thursday, but then our next system is set to come in for Friday. And it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing any kind of relief from the heat. The last two days, that was the relief. Now the heat's coming back in just in time for the work week. It is going to be hot. It is going to be sticky and muggy, almost tropical like the entire rest of the work week. So summer's finally back. If you do enjoy this kind of weather, it's good pool weather. You're just going to have to dodge some of those showers and maybe some storms. Thursday is looking like the best pool day. But today, expect widespread showers, chance for some storms. It's going to get more muggy later on to the day as we go. Tonight, falling down into the upper 60s it is going to be pretty warm with some leftover showers. Tomorrow, chance for some more showers and storms. Hot and muggy with highs returning back into the mid 80s. So we put it all together here with your seven day forecast. Today's really the washout day that we're looking at over the next several days. Unfortunately, it is just going to be hot and sticky. Not the greatest words I'm really using to describe this upcoming work week. If anything, I think Thursday might be the next best day to be rain free, but we still are looking at the chance of some isolated rain for then. When are we going to see a break from all this heat and humidity? I think we have to wait till at least probably next Sunday for that to happen.